Aim 2 between Michael and Mighty, I think this is on Sylphid. Because it looks like it's a three player map and set up for Sylphid. Is this the BSL thing? This kind of gash and the. Is that BSL? It's hard to tell. Looks like it's saying something. I'm not sure what though. Bottom right hand corner, Michael is the red Terran. Left hand corner, I think that's BSL. Almost looks like it's. Yeah, I think that's BSL. BSL. Underlined. I think these are custom BSL maps, oftentimes. I could be wrong, and I could be just pointing that out on a map that's actually, this isn't even the custom one, and then go figure. <laughs> so, who knows. Pink Protoss, Michael. <laughs> I'm, I was really impressed with game one, Michael, overall. I want to emphasize that. And this does lead me to believe, again, that he is, in fact, the Zerg player off-racing, which seems to be... I wish the Zerg players would stay Zerg, though, just for my own casting convenience in Gosu League. Or sorry, in Hasu League, moving forward again, the su the supply depot walling, which here it makes a lot of sense in my opinion, because this is more of a wide open base. You don't have the ramp to work with. I'm curious if this is going to result in more zealot pressure from Michael. If I recall, a previous aspect of the meta, which I don't know why it halted, but a lot of it it was kind of trendy for Terran to do a lot of these fake double or early game pushes. And what Protoss started doing to react to it, by the way, clockwise scout here for Michael, so he's gonna end up in Mighty's base last. And I think Mighty's gonna do more of the same here. We'll see if he adjusts it. I almost feel like this is his bread and butter build, so he's not really gonna adjust away from it. And as a result, I'm wondering if this is gonna be a quick three games. I don't know. But anyway, I think what Protoss did briefly as a period of time to kind of deal with it. Actually, interesting here, Supply Depot being plopped down just to make sure that's a front door seal to keep Michael in the dark. But what they were doing is they were doing proxy one gate. So they'd build Pylon in the middle of the map, put down only one gate and push Zealots from there. And I feel like the logic behind that was it's not, it was cheese-ish, it wasn't full cheesy. Cause sometimes you'd win the game by disrupting your Terran opponent by getting Zealots in their base. <coughs> but, Really what I feel like the value of that one gate proxy build was, is it was more, oh no, is he gonna, okay, so he's moving that SCV out, the probe wasn't quite in position, so he is gonna maintain this. Is that a full, yeah, full seal. Depot above, barracks below. There's gotta be some sort of like, what, what are the word, mnemonic? It's gotta be some mnemonic for like righty tidy lefty loosey for sort of these sort of things, except it's, I think, reversed where it's like lefty tidy. Anyway, whatever, <laughs> you guys. Uh, someone should come up with some of those for walling of all the different... Although there's so many buildings to use in walls for Terran and all the races. That, anyway, looks like we are actually going to see a two factory build from Mighty. He's got three SCVs sticking in gas, and I don't know if Michael's going to be prepared for this or not. Currently, he's sitting at just one gateway. Is producing two Dragoons to start. Also has range upgrading. The probe is alongside. It's not going to get a lot of scouting information otherwise. He does see that this barracks... Critically, this probe is seeing that that barracks is remaining unlit. Doesn't mean anything, though. I feel like I lost the thought there on the the barracks thing, but the the one the one proxy gate build is it kind of punished this sort of thing, where it made it more difficult to it basically forced Terran into certain builds. Is what I felt. Dragoon trying to box out this SCV does get killed only seeing this one gate, which has to make. Mighty happy. Yeah, I think Michael is opting for one gate expand. Probe getting killed on that front door. Sneaking out with then a second SCV. Wants to try to get... And he's actually... This is kind of clever because he's... By being aggressive with these SCV scouts, he's almost suggesting that, yeah, I'm actually going for an expand. I want to see what you're up to comparatively. Where he's actually, in fact, dropped two machine shops. Is going to continue to producing tanks and... Is going to have that speed vulture thing to follow this up. Michael's expansion going up. He's still sitting at one gate. And this is, outside of like a 12 nexus, like just three nexuses to start, three nexus to start, this is exactly what you want to see from Terran. You want to see that nexus going up, a small Dragoon force on the front door, and not much of a wall, where you can just surround and overwhelm. And so I'm not going to call this straight up a win for Mighty, but he's in a very good build order position, particularly because he got that probe off the front line, which is going to allow him to fill in this marine production. I think seeing that Mighty trying to cancel that barracks, but it was lit. I think Mighty saw it. 
He is that robo building. I don't know that he's reacting though. Now actually opting to do it. Second SCV moving in. Does see that Nexus going up and Mighty has to be smiling to himself right now. Continuing to build SC or, uh, sorry, Marines. And you can see that Dragoon isn't in position to see it. And that would have been a big indicator. Now moving up sees it. But still, I feel like it might be too little too late at this stage. Mines and speed are being upgraded. Already have four tanks out, and the vultures are being produced. Sorry, five tanks out. Vultures are being produced. And that's good for Marines otherwise. Only two, what, three? Three Dragoons, period. Maybe four when they're on the front. So basically you have four Dragoons to try to stop all of this. And one of them just died on the front. Now he knows this push is coming. Plopping down another gateway now, but yeah, I think it's too little too late. Mighty to lose this game would have to completely flub. Completely flub this. Shield battery plopping down. But this is just an overwhelming attack force, in my opinion. Would absolutely have to, to flub this. One vulture going down. Bonus for Michael. Trying to work on those SCVs. Retreating to the shield battery. Here's the thing. He can't get pushed away from that shield battery. So it was critical that he took out those initial two vultures. Siege tanks pushing through. More vultures making their way forward. That pylon doing a little bit of work. Bunker being placed. Again, it's critical. He's taking down these vultures before they're able to lay, lay mines. This natural expansion is forfeit regardless. Shield battery is out, unpowered down those marines. That one marine flooding in a little bit too far. Michael does have actually four gateways up. Working in an observatory. Certain, certainly going to lose his natural expansion. And Mighty's going to go ahead and plop down an expansion behind all of this. But he's basically got not a complete death, death seal. But this is Mighty's game to lose. I mean, it was as soon as he had this Nexus plop down with just the one gate. Zealot pressing forward. Dragoon taking a lot of damage. Reaver... Gets a good hit on those siege tanks, pulling them into the Dragoons. The probe's looking very menacingly, pushing the rest of this army back. Dragoon's getting a little bit too feisty. And a vulture squeaking through, some mines being plopped down as a result. And they actually look like they're going to be able to, wow, just things not going right for Michael at all. Able to dive there. Dragoon's continuing to try to plug this front door, and i got to assume there's going to be GG momentarily here. Producing some additional Dragoons and Zealots. Able to clean that up, but he is down to 25 probes. Is he going to wait for the observatory? He's going to wait for an observer before... Or sorry, he's got a second reaver out. He does have that observatory there. Mighty is going to go ahead and pull back with everything he's got, leaving a single siege tank, a turret, an SCV, and a bunker on this front. Shuttle moving its way back across. I think he realized that shuttle had some stuff in it, and he's going to try to make his way back. Maybe if Michael has some miracle, absolute miracle reaver scarabs here, he could pull this off. But... He's not in the best position here. Natural expansion's being retaken. Some mines being cleared out. Actually doing some severe damage right there. Dragoon being dropped. It looks like that Reaver took some severe damage. We'll try to get a look at the kill count as it plops out. If it plops out. Siege tech being researched. It should be the end of this Reaver drop. Especially with this amount of siege tanks. Yeah, siege tanks just patrolling here. Here's the thing. Michael needs to drop and get something done here. Six kills. Actually, that's not a bad shot. Taking Michael down to 25 supply. More Dragoons pressing forward for Michael. But he is going up against a lot of Siege Shanks. Interestingly enough, huh, Michael's swinging this back around. He's actually got a threatening attack force on this front door if he micros this just really, really well. But that's the problem. He's got, oh, no, that wasn't it, though. That was not the micro well that I was hoping for <laughs> to try to sneak back in this. Loses his Reaver as well. That should be GG. Michael not GGing yet. Actually has his Nexus building being a little bit defiant at this stage. Maybe frustrated. Michael at 51 supply, but half of that is probes. At the same time, 33 supply comparatively. But critically, of the supply of Mighties, a lot of it is siege tanks. Reaver sneaking back in. This could be the evener. Zealot getting down. 
Michael actually doing a good job of like trying to oh dud a dud though Zelt's working on that turret to keep this harass alive and now the siege tanks in position one going down two getting taken out that's a big win third siege tank getting poked and mighty finally getting down a third and a fourth factory because he needs it and the dragoons with that spread he's continuing to press this natural expansion i thought this game was over but michael's making a push at it dragoons continuing to harass at the natural it looks like that shuttle finally taken out in the main but all of a sudden michael's down nine supply but his natural expansion is just about to warp in he's continuing to poke at these scvs and mighty has suffered a lot of harassment. His main has not been mining for a good period of time. They're actually group repairing this turret right now. So this is... So Michael evening things up. He's still at a serious disadvantage. Still at a serious disadvantage. But Michael has a fighting shot in this match again. Wow, kudos to him. Still might be over though. Because <laughs> that's a, more siege tanks pushing out. Michael does have four gateways getting leg speed but he needs zealots or something to deal with what might be a push as soon as mighty has enough forces to to honestly shuffle it out two machine shops down to continue with siege tank production he's got the two bases up and running might want to plop down an additional factory here but michael has put himself in a position where might be able to sneak back into this dragoons getting flooded out there no mines being plopped around them looks like they're just going to be yeah they're getting surrounded yeah, this is my concern, is, is that the the follow-up in moment... Oh, that mine! Oh, that mine! Really nice stutter stepping from Michael, actually, to get out in front. And I think that... Yeah, with this amount of siege tanks, that natural expansion, once again, is at risk. Two Dark Templar out in the field. And they're, there's no detection. So that is going to interrupt this attack. Michael just finding the holes here. Yeah, so that's getting turned around. Again, this is like... Have you ever seen that picture of that old, like... This is like memes. Posters are like the original memes, right? Dark Templar sneaking in. Where you had that stork that's eating the frog. And this the frog is like grabbing the stork's neck. And it's like, never give up. Da -da 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 -da. That's what it feels like here with Michael's play. Two SCVs getting a little bit uppity and pushing forward against... But that's a lot of vultures to clear out this natural expansion. Ooh, mines hitting both the probes and the dragoons. The SEVs getting in the fight here. And it looks like that natural expansion once again is going to get cleared out. But we do have a shuttle with some Dark Templar moving in. This academy is not yet finished. Invisible men incoming and in large numbers. So it could be another tit-for-tat situation. Dark Templar now in the SCV line, and they should be... Here's the thing. They might be able to take this CompSat station down. They're not going to be able to take down the additional CompSat station, and that's hopefully building at the natural expansion. More Dragoons now flooding out once again while this is happening. So, yeah, that CompSat station is down. Mine's being planted to try to clear this out. Trying to be rebuilt. And there's just too many mines. Looks like, yeah, several Dragoons already died to the mine coverage there. <laughs> the main is once again cleared up. This could be dangerous because a mind drag for Michael onto... If he can get a good mind drag with one of these Dark Templar, that could be a game shifter. Almost got it! Mighty realizing his unit's a little bit too packed in. The DT trying to again get up. Oh, doesn't get a very good... So damages one siege tank, doesn't get a lot else. Two Dragoons in Danger Town surrounded by all sorts of mines. Oh, just getting wiped out. This is, yeah, just turning into an absolute fist fight. Mighty supply block right now with all of that harassment. Michael has his natural expansion up and running once again. But, again, the question is, is for how long? How long can he keep it up? Mighty has is still in a position where he has... Like, My Michael, everything he's done, which has been incredible... It's incredible that he's at this stage of the game. Everything he's done has basically kept him in this game. Mighty still has all of the options laid out in front of him to win this. 
Seven, was that seven? Six gateways here in the back corner. A good tier two tech. For Michael, his main is looking somewhat thin. Might needs to find a way to, to get a third, let alone, like mine is, actually mine is natural expansion, let alone get a third. Way oversaturated because of all this harassment. Same deal opposite side for Mighty. Mighty at 92 supply. Level one weapons has been upgraded. Siege tanks, Goliath tanks. I feel like that's like the Wizard of Oz thing. It's the tigers, monkeys, and bears of my sort of thing. Was that that? That's that's a misquote. Whatever. Pressing in. Zelt's getting cleared off. This is oh my gosh! All of those units plugged in, just getting wiped out. But the DTs are managing to sneak around this corner, clear out some of those siege tanks. A scan following that clears up what's left. Michael's done a great job of engaging with honestly skeleton crews, except for that engagement where that left most force still made the best of it with the DTs around that corner. More combat's pushing forward. If these SCVs are able to plant a turret, that should be game. And I've already said that several times. But yeah, now the Vulture's flooding into the main. Honestly, they should just stay at the natural. There's GG for Michael. Woof. Well played by Mighty. I like the adjustment. He saw that the level 2 weapons level 1 thing was something that Michael could counter. But instead opted to go for that early build, the early factory push build. And yeah, I like the adjustment. Takes game 1, or game 2. So one game apiece for both players. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.